Hey guys, welcome to Charcoal King. Hey, today we got a little treat for you. Low carb brownies using almond flour. Stay tuned. All right guys, so if you follow me in the past, you know that I've been talking about my health and I need to get healthier and the doctor's not really being all nice to me. So besides all that crap, I've been kind of like scouring here and there, trying to change up what I eat, trying to eat healthier. And I came across this recipe that I fine tuned and basically I've created my own healthy uh, version. Low carb brownies, we're gonna use almond flour. We got some olive oil, some Greek yogurt. It should be a good one. So let's get started. All right, so if we're talking about list of ingredients, I've tried to mise en place everything out. I've tried to make this video as quick and as painless as possible because these brownies are absolutely fantastic and they're actually healthy. Yes, they're healthy. All right, so let's get started. Let's see if I can remember all the ingredients. All right, two eggs. We're gonna go with wet first. All right, so two eggs. We have a quarter cup. Now you can tell my measurements are exact. quarter cup of Greek yogurt. Let's do a quarter cup of good first pressed olive oil. That's very important. First pressed olive oil, not the refined olive oil, not the light olive oil. Plus this olive oil here, which I'm sure there's millions of brands out there. It's Mediterranean cold first press, but it actually has a mild flavor. I know I'm just reading it off the label, but it really does have a mild flavor. You don't get that big olive oil kick, and that's I really it's one of my favorites. All right, let's see. A teaspoon of vanilla. All right, give that a whisk real quick. Vanilla. You mix the sugar in there. Well, sugar's dry. This is wet. Hence, mix all wet first. All right. Now we're gonna come back in. We have. I can't even pronounce it. Truvia. What's that called? Truvia? Truvia. It's like a fake sugar. You guys can either live with it or you don't. But we're going to use it in this one. And we have a half cup sugar. We have a third cup baking powder. Cocoa powder. Yeah, cocoa powder. Good night. A third cup of cocoa powder. Thank you. A half cup of almond flour. We're going to do a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Believe it or not, this stuff has an expiration date. You might want to check it. I don't know the last time I used it. And if I'm eyeballing correctly, we'll see how close I get with my measurements. Way short. Well, I just uh, told you I'm precise. Quarter teaspoon of salt. All right, so let's mix this up. See, don't even look half bad. It almost looks like it's a brownie consistency already. Look at that, fudgy. You don't have to worry about overworking it because you're not using flour, so you're not worrying about the proteins building, the gluten. All right, now we have a third of a cup of, we use chopped pecans and a third of a cup of, I know you're gonna laugh. I know, trust me, listen, I can hear the bluebirds now in the comment section below. All right, 72% cocoa. Believe it or not, it's a dark chocolate and it's actually not bad for you. It's one of the healthier chocolates that we could find. I'm sure there's healthier out there, but when we're in the grocery store, this is what we found. So we're just gonna get that in there and then we're just gonna fold it in. And that's what the mix should look like. Something similar, pretty easy. All right, I know you're thinking, why not cast iron? Because I haven't tried in a cast iron skillet yet. I haven't got past my Pyrex. So I'm just gonna spray it down. A little bit of baking Pam. It's already got the flour in there. I'm sure there's a carb in there somewhere. All right, so we're just gonna add this brownie mix right to our, our greased Pyrex dish. So you guys get a better shot. We're gonna throw it in the oven. We got our oven preheated at 350. 
you could probably do 325. 350, 325. And we're going to bake it until the toothpick, knife, whatever you use, um, comes out clean just like you would on a normal baking product. And it should take about 20 to 25 minutes. And after our sponsors, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so it's been about 25 minutes, give or take. We're going to check it, see what we got here. You guys know the drill. If you insert something and it comes out dirty, it's not done. Perfect. Look at that. Now, look at that. I don't look half bad, does it? Looks like brownies. Almond flour, fake sugar, fake this, all that. All right, we'll let it rest because I'm not trying it when it's super hot. There's no way in the world. But that's not bad. Hey, I think we calculated it's about eight, nine carbs somewhere through there. Uh, per brownie, we'll cut it into nine pieces. So you can imagine something like that, okay? So nine carbs, something like that. I'm gonna let it cool, and then we're gonna try a piece. <sighs> Woo! You don't like eating healthy and getting dessert all in one bite. It's almost like a, it tastes like fud. Oh God, look at that chocolate. And I lose weight eating a brownie. <laughs> Somebody, for the love of mankind, make this recipe. Make the recipe and comment below. Tell me that, just, just look at it. Tell me that you can't eat this and not feel guilty. Okay, give me that bite right there. God, that's good. That's the best one. Mmm. 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 That's finger looking good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Make this recipe. Share it with your friends. And come back for round number two. Because we're going to be making something. No matter what it is.